Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! up man it's your boy shot shot versus everybody podcast episode 162 got a special guest in the building uh we finally made it happen i kind of had <laughs> fell off in general we had first talk and we we made it happen though we got uh we got you got a lot of bags you got singer director actor manager writer model and she might be a podcaster pretty soon she like we, we got lux in the building what's up what's up y'all what's good what's popping how you feeling it's good. It's Friday. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know? Nice weather outside. Yeah. Hopefully y'all niggas out. don't be out here killing niggas and shit, man. You know, don't be doing that. Not today, man. Mm -hmm. Can we make it through one Friday? Make it through the summer, please. Damn. Oh, we ain't going to do that. But yeah. let's, let's take yeah. it one, oh, yeah. day. one day. One day at a time. One day at a time. Uh, happy belated birthday. I know you had birthday yeah. June 1st. Yeah, thank Jim you. Jim and I out here, we all. Absolutely. His birthday June 1st, the director. What? I mean, I, I call a nigga director. The, the uh, producer, his birthday June 1st. Uh, my birthday June twenty first. Some shit say I'm a Gemini. Some you say I'm a Cancer. A, but you still summer, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First day of summer for sure, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now we start every uh episode off with salute me while I'm here. We wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers. You know what I'm saying? We made that long ass post on Facebook about how we love him or her instead of you know what I'm saying show him that love while he still could you know receive it. But it can't be the typical answer. It can't be mom, dad. Can't be nobody in a relationship with you know what I'm saying. Got to be somebody out of that easy answer. Okay. You got somebody you want to go ahead and shoot some love to? Absolutely. Um, I want to show some love um, to my artists okay. that I manage. They work hard as shit every sure. day. Yeah. So I just, you know, want to shout out some love to Ken's. Shout mm -hmm. out some love to Mac, um, my super official studios. That's who I want to shout out my team. Like, sure. the way that they work and take care of their families mm -hmm. and, you know, their kids and, like, you know, relationships and all that, like, that's admirable. And then they work hard, you know, on their dreams and shit. So mm -hmm. just shout out to, you know, my team, my no, starting sure. five. That should, be, that should do be hard when you, like, you got that real life and then you got yeah. the shit that you're pursuing. You know what I'm saying? Because then you got, if you got a lady or you got kids, they asking where you going, all that shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But exactly. shout out to Ken. She was on the show, uh, shit. Maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Okay. That was my dog. That's her. Yeah, that's shout her, out to Ken. Yeah, that's her cousin. And um, I listen to her music. She she dope. She yeah, dope. new single on a high. Go get that shit. It's on all platforms. Mm -hmm. She the first person to come on the show with a dog. Okay. Re recipe to her and you dog. know what? I didn't know if I could bring my dog or not because I looked at her. She looked so sad. I'm like, I don't know. You can't go with mommy. <laughs> yeah, you know, she had brought she, she, she <laughs> Mommy was, uh, has to work on she, she, she didn't do too much. She was cool. She was cool on the show. Shit, oh, no. Nah, my dog bad as hell. She'd be in this bitch oh, yeah. flipping and crying, asking for food. Oh, like. yeah. All, all type of bad shit. All type of bad. <laughs> but uh, shit, it's, it's uh, the middle of the year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 2023. Absolutely. How, how things been going for you so far this year? Woo. Things have been things have been busy, but things have been good. I'm just mm. so blessed and grateful and just thankful mm. um, for the way that things are going. Yeah, for sure. Anything? Did you go into into this year looking for like? Let me improve on this. Let me absolutely. Like what was some shit that you? Was I go going into, into every year? every year and like my year is really up. Like when my birthday comes, like that's yeah. how I view are kind you, of milestones. Hold on, hold on. Are you one of those that like celebrate the whole month? Absolutely. Like every day your birthday for the whole month of well, June? Well, not the whole month, but at least a good two weeks. Like, yeah, yeah. For a sure. good two weeks. I ain't even going to cap. Like, yeah. I've been going crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, now it's time to get back into that work and, you know, get back to the, into that. And speaking of that, um, my new series, His or Hers, is mm -hmm. about to start filming um, early July. For I sure. actually am about to film... Uh, two other movies that are not my own projects, but amazing projects um, mm. by amazing writers and directors. Um, mm. They come at night. It's a thriller. Okay. So I'm very excited about that. It's like a psychological thriller. So okay. that's something different. Something different for sure. Yeah, exactly. Something different. So I'm very excited um, for that. And then I'm also a part of the cast of Ladies Night. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna be super fun. Like, For sure, I know that's gonna be fun. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, hell so yeah. shout out to uh, Charisma, okay, who was the uh, writer and director, and shout out to JD, who's the writer and director of They Come at Night. For sure, yeah, that's dope. Cause uh, in, you know, in the city, when we think about movies, we think about you know typical exactly. movies. But to have a thriller, that'd be something exactly. you know, saying totally different. Exactly. So I'm very excited for that. And then even my series is, um, it's a romantic thriller. Okay. Okay. 
So um, it has that sitcom edge to it, but it's it's also it's it's not a, a thriller is not the right word. It's an action series. Okay, I'm about to say so. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's more so like if you're thinking about like you know Equalizer mm. or you know it has, it's gonna have like some of those elements like that you know For like sure. taking like that that yeah. type of thing. When you say romantic thriller, I start thinking about all the chicks that you be like, damn, how I'm gonna fuck her. She. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you gotta tune in and see. You what, what, tune what's what's been a, a horror relationship you've been in? Like, it's just oh, some man. wild shit. You ain't done some wild shit, huh? You a Gemini. Yeah. Oh, say y'all see, crazy. see, and that's what they always say, but I never get a chance to act crazy and have no fun. I never get a chance to wild out because people sure. always doing crazy ass shit yeah. to me. So, what's been some horror? Uh, <laughs> what's, what's been a horror relationship for you? Um, I won't say the whole relationship was horror, but it <laughs> yeah. had some parts that had me feeling like I was in a movie by yeah. damn self. Uh, <laughs> I done came home one time, so all my shit cut up. Damn. Like, damn. But to the point where you don't notice until you go to put it on. Yeah. So I go to try my shoe on, the strap yeah. cut off that bitch. Like, damn. just vindictive ass shit. Damn, like, a, a dude did that? No, nah, I see man. Okay, okay, I'm about to say, yeah. dude, that's fine. I'm about to say, hold on, dude. You should be, you should be cutting no clothes up. Nah. But so you, you hold on, so that's that's happening. Like, so what you do? Like, was it in retaliation? Like, what 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 up? I just said I can't do it no more. <laughs> I just... See, I never had nobody like like break my shit up or cut some. You oh, know, what yeah. saying keep my my car and then like that. Like, no, and I keep my car because now you're taking it too far. I did have somebody bust my window out though. Yeah, yeah. So that wasn't fun. So do it ever be you in this situation, or is it always them? I'm not gonna say I'm innocent, but I don't do shit like that. <laughs> yeah, like sure. I'm not um busting people windows out. Like I have maybe like <laughs> you know, thrown some shit out before. Yeah. I can say that. Yeah, thrown some sure. shit out a window, hell yeah. yeah. But like I'm not See, cut I'm not into that. Like I just be having other shit. See, that's relationships get scary when it's like you gotta yeah, be like worried about a nigga. Yeah, worry about a nigga or a chick that, that's that's gonna threaten you or gonna harm you. Not or... had niggas beat my ass. That's hold on, for hold damn on. sure. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I ain't gonna say they was cutting no shit up, but yeah, uh, definitely was in that bitch <laughs> boxing. No, hold on. how do they even? How do they even escalate to that point without like somebody getting out? Because of men are crazy. Like just like females are crazy, yeah. men are crazy. So think about a man that is not emotionally stable. For sure, that doesn't know how to hang handle their anger yeah. or their sadness. So it yeah. turns into rage. You know man. what I'm saying? So like. That's all that is, you no, know. And then sure. you got t- testosterone, and I'm five feet. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, you, know you came in here short. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Like, like, <laughs> like, is it hard to get out of this situation? Like, like, I know we joke. Hell stuff. yeah, it's hard to get out some shit like that. But it's hard because you make it hard. Mm-hmm. Cause it's your friends and family. I'm sure is always there for you and shit. For but sure. like when you when you in it and yeah. when you going through it for you make excuses for it. Like oh, okay, you know we just got into it. I got a smart ass mob. Okay, mm-hmm. whatever. You know, but that shit is not okay. And get the fuck out. No, fast, <laughs> fast. <laughs> like, quick, fast and hurry. Yeah, I was young and I was stupid and I had yeah. never really been in like uh, that was my first relationship actually okay. yeah. with a man. Like my actual real like first relationship was with a woman so like my first relationship with a guy was like what the fuck is going on yeah, here like this different i'm like this nigga want to fight and shit like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that shit that shit wild but like we was talking about that shit me and my cuz the other day like when you get into a situation then you because like, this one dude just got um he got off on a charge a murder charge because his girl's beating on him i guess and she had called her brothers up to you know saying shoot mm-hmm. it up and in defense he killed the brother but it's like when you gotta be Involved into that because your Why sister. Why we gotta do all that? Yeah, like I, it, I anytime kinda... it's escalating that far, like to physical or like somebody getting hurt or harmed or killed, like that shit is not love. No, no, no. That shit y'all. is obsession. Mm-hmm. And that shit is some different shit. And you gotta people have real mental issues that they don't get help for. People have for sure. real social and emotional developmental problems, you facts, know, that they facts. haven't addressed or even know is a problem mm-hmm. because nobody's told them or you know nobody is you know stood up to them or whatever yeah. the case is until sure. somebody gets shot until yeah. somebody gets no, killed. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I never been in no situation like that relationship wise where. I had to put hands on somebody or somebody put hands on me. Or... Uh-huh. I done been in some crazy shit. That's why the shit I write is so good. Yeah, because you Cause real I done life. lived the life, baby. <laughs> Man. Hey, hey, y'all going through some shit real talk. Y'all, hey, go get some help. Yeah, for real. Or get out. Don't yeah. even get no help. Go. You the help. Yeah, you yeah. be the help. You help yourself. Like, we got to <laughs> stop always, like, uh, like, 
I won't even say women because men do it too. They mm. just do it in a different way. But we got to stop playing this victim card or this damsel in distress shit. Like, you grown as fuck. Yeah. You got yourself in that situation. Mm. So map out a plan. Mm. Maybe you can't do it all in one day. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying? Maybe you got to do it in days. Like, maybe you can't just get up and leave. You don't have, like, a support system to go to. You know no, what I'm saying? Sure. That's real. Sure. You know, so I understand that. But sometimes you got to you gotta tough it out. You got to, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. What's some signs that craziness is on its way? Like in your relationship, like you just see it sounds like, dog. I see, I, I see it. Like this nigga crazy or she crazy. Like, you, what's the signs? That you, um, hmm. Cause I, I, I don't even deal with too many crazy women, but I think signs are like them being like argumentative, mm -hmm. like little things like turn into like a, a big yeah. Like if they kind of like flying off the handle on some shit, yeah. like why the fuck you leave this <laughs> no, shit yeah, out? You sure. know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. like whoa, yeah, 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 <laughs> you know like that's yeah. kind of a sign. Um, shit, that's sign. I know like like motherfucker uh, on your ass by when you leaving this shit or getting there too, because that shit could turn to some shit, bro. Yeah, I'm if just, they get mad every time yeah. you going somewhere, yeah, I, I, I agree. Damn, I'm just going to the store and shit. Cause <laughs> 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 Damn, yeah. bro! Like you look, like, one chick. You look at her ass, like no, nigga. I'm just so happy to look yes, over there. Yeah, what's the problem? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so, but I so happy to look over there. Cause and, you was looking too. So what's the problem? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, we both look at that. Ass. Yeah, like <laughs> hey, what? Like it's come on now. I just feel like certain stuff is just like ridiculous. Like yeah, we're sure. we're all like we we ain't like old as hell and just decrepit and yeah. you know what I'm saying like. <laughs> Don't have, you know, like feelings or emotions, but I feel like it's just a level of respect. No, you know, for sure. just be respectful. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And now, don't get caught up in no shit. No, for sure, yeah. yeah. Get help, y'all. Get help. Uh now, you know, going to this year, was it some speaking of getting help, was it some shit that you felt like you needed to change about yourself going into this year that maybe yes. holding you back or whatever from like, you know, thriving? Yes, I do. I feel like I get distracted, uh, because I'm in so many different things, like, um, I may not finish something because I'm like, oh, that's going to take a long time. So mm -hmm. let me focus on something that's going to take me less time. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, I've just been like a lot harder on myself about time management sure. and just uh, keeping track of things. And like a lot, a big thing that I have is I love to help other people. Mm -hmm. But my own career is yeah. getting traction. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I have to realize that I can still help people and focus on my own shit. Mm -hmm. So that was a big thing for me this year, just focusing on like those projects. Like I got TV series, like movies, all that shit that's, you know, need, yeah. that needs to come out. You for know sure, what I'm saying? It needs to drop. And that can help everybody else too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, but in order to help them, I got to help me first. Yeah. No, know? fast. Cause if you ain't shit, yeah. then ain't so nobody. So I definitely, I spent a lot of money investing in myself this year on um, acting classes. Mm -hmm. um, I took a class with um, DR2 Productions. So shout out to Deborah, my acting coach, my baby. She's also um, the director on my project, Going Dutch, that's okay. going to come out um, this year. We're going to sure. film with Dennis Reed, Homestead Entertainment. So shout out to Dennis. For sure. Sonya, for sure. What DR2 what Productions. What what yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I took that class and I took the uh, Moolah Film class, okay. which okay. was amazing. Yeah, a lot of people be doing amazing. that. Amazing. Yeah. It was a really good class. Both mm -hmm. classes were amazing. Really good. I feel like I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. um, just about um, acting, about even, you know, production, just, you know, being more professional, just mm -hmm. like a, a lot of things that, you know, can really help yeah. make me better as a performer yeah. or make me better as an actor. Now, going back to what you said, like doing so much, can doing so much and, you know what I'm saying, like you, you got a lot of hats, can that kind of like mess up from, you know what I'm saying, can it take away? It can. And um, what I've learned is balance. Okay. So like... I pick a project that allows me to incorporate all those things into one, in one thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, doing my TV series allows me to put all of the shit that I do in one thing. Okay. The music, because I'm going to, you know, work on the soundtrack and all of that. Like, mm. the directing, the writing, it helps me put all of that into one thing. So, I'm not like, let me do this, let me do this, let me do this, let yeah. me do this. I'm doing, like, you know, one big thing mm. that's incorporating all Everything. those things. Yeah, and so it's incorporating the artists that I work with and the talent sure. that I work with as well. It's giving for them sure. a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's giving them parts. You know, so nah. it's like killing two birds. Of one stone, yeah, really. yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. What, what, what's, some, what's some shit you learned about about yourself though? Like as far as like on the um, on the on the acting part, you 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 taking these acting roles, you going to classes. Have you learned like I'm not as good as I you know what I'm saying yeah, I thought I was? Absolutely, yeah. hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Hell yeah. You would be a fool to think that. If that's the point you wasted your money, you shouldn't have went. Yeah. Like the whole purpose is to become a better performer. For to sure. become better. For sure. Like if you already think you the shit, how yeah. you gonna be better? Because like it's like even like anything with music with the podcast. Yeah, like, like that's that's been my whole theme this year, honestly. So it's crazy that you even said that when I came in here, it's just improvement. Mm -hmm. Like just getting better at yeah. everything that I do. Like, okay, you was in a movie, okay, being a better one. For sure. You know no, what I'm saying? Have a better part, you. not a better movie, because all the movies I was in was amazing. For production sure. amazing you know directors and writers like yeah no. yeah because you, know, you could went to that class thinking like maybe i don't even need, probably really need this shit yeah, hell no then i needed like, the fuck out that yeah, shit like, I yeah needed i needed the fuck out that shit yeah because we we go i'm looking shit. for help like that's the one thing about me i don't care how old i get i don't care how many movies i do i'm always i like to learn mm -hmm. like i'm so i'm always just a student of you know whatever i'm a part of like the whole purpose is to learn because my thing is Maybe I can learn something I can show somebody else. Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? Sure. Like maybe it might not be for me per se. Yeah. You know, but I could be like, damn, you mm -hmm. know, Ken's can use this shit or mm -hmm. Matt can use this shit or, you know, Gino can use this shit. Yeah. Like it, it'll come in in a way where, you know, I can help the artists and mm -hmm. the community that I work with. Now when you get to the acting class, like how long do it typically take? Like and then what what, what y'all doing as far uh, as like you know saying helping you out as a, as an actress, like it's usually about um like a month. Okay. Or, you know, six weeks, just depending on, you know, what, what type of course it is and, mm -hmm. you know, how it's labeled and everything. And then, you know, they give you like a syllabus. You know, it's like a, it's a real class, yeah, you know. For sure. So they give you, you know, a syllabus and, you know, projects to work on and terms mm -hmm. to remember and things like that. You okay. Know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to my dog, Thomas Harris. He been on the show twice and shit. I yeah, know but you got to take the class. Like, I can't yeah. tell you what's in the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to take the class. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I might just take the class one day. You should. Just it's a good class. I, I think that all actors and actresses should take an acting class. Like, mm -hmm. even if you've been, you know, acting for a while, like, it always helps. Like, it's a good way to network. Mm -hmm. Like, I met a lot of people um, that are in my casting group now or that have put me on to jobs or put sure. me on to auditions or other movies. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a good way to get into that director and actor and, you know, filmmaker community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's not just only about the class. It's what you get sure. out of the class. You know, yeah. a lot of times, like, even with going to premiere sometimes, like, that's the experience to network and meet other people. Like yeah. the whole purpose in like being in this industry mm -hmm. is your connections and relationships. That's what help get you. No, for ready, sure. You know, yeah, to the next spot. Yeah. Like hell yeah, talent gonna get you there. But you know, if you and another girl is talented, but the director already has a rapport with this person, they're going to pick yeah, them no, just because sure. they're familiar with them and they already know them. Yeah. Yeah. And they out and about making moves and all that shit. Now, like, can, when you got people that's criticizing or like, at telling you like what you need to work on like are you good with that when people are telling you like hey I, you need to work on this looks like you need to step it up right I'm here I'm better at it now mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 I'm better at it now I've cried before mm -hmm. like I, mm -hmm. I'm a very just honest person so yeah. like I you know I've been upset before I've cried mm -hmm. before but I still took it whatever yeah. it was and whatever emotion I felt whether I was sad or embarrassed or whatever I still took that information I didn't let that get lost because sure. obviously if I felt some type of way it was because I deep down knew that I I, you know, yeah, needed yeah, it or yeah, that yeah. I wasn't, you know, or that it was true. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like, it's okay to like, you know, feel those emotions. That's a part of what make you a, a good performer. That's what part of make you a good entertainer is being in touch with that real shit and how mm -hmm. you really feel. Because if you're just like, the biggest thing I learned is that you don't really want to like pretend to be a character. You want to take that real shit and apply mm. it to whatever situation that the character yeah, is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You got that go-to person that you, you can go to, like, just for those, you know what I'm saying, those 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 real conversations that's, you know what I'm saying, will keep it real with you, you go to that specific um, person? Yeah, definitely. Um, I do talk to, uh, get to talk to, chat with Deb a lot. She's giving me a lot of um, advice about mm. parts. Um, everybody at, you know, DR2 Productions, like, is, is you know, really good about reaching out um my best friend mac like you know she's yeah, a, sure. she's an up-and-coming actress but she has a lot of insight you know about because yeah. she's been around you know yeah. filmmakers and performers and you know things like that but i'm i'm a documentary girl yeah. so I, I like to watch and i like to read for you sure know, that's like our biggest tool is reading it's so much 
information, information out hell there. Yeah, niggas have missed that you shit. You know, we just gotta read it, like yeah. you know. No, for sure, for sure, for sure. Because like I said, you do a lot. You do a lot with the, you know you not just acting. You know the music shit too. So you Absolutely. know what I'm saying. So the nigga tell you because I remember he used to. When I was doing my music, he tell me some shit, add some shit good. Yeah, and if you tell can't, me. If you can't take that one person, then you make nigga you go ahead. You can't take everybody yeah. in. Because when you go up. to the to the top, you know, they're going to yeah. give you 10, 20 seconds. And they're yep. like, all right, Nick. Yeah, 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 for sure. What's your day-to-day -day life away from all this shit that you do? From the music, from the motherfucking acting, like... What what's life like for you? What well, you? I still have a job. Mm -hmm. Like you know, no, like sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, paying the bills like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what you enjoy <laughs> doing though, like you know. Uh, well, this is what I enjoy doing low key. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, this is a hobby. Like, making money is a hobby for me. Like, mm -hmm. finding, you know, new things uh, that I like. I like. I do like adventures, though. I like to go on adventures. So, I went axe throwing for okay. my birthday. So, that, was, sure. that was lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. fun. That yeah, was really yeah. fun. Because sometimes you got to take away, uh, yourself away from work. Because, yeah, I mean, you that's something you love to do, but sometimes you, you got to get away from it just that's to, true. you know, have a reset. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be too tired in. That's you true. just need to go. You might learn some shit about, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I need to. Get away so I can reset and be better for it. Yeah, this you know is the saying? summer like on the water, so it been it been giving pool parties, it been giving mm -hmm. boats. Like that's what's been you know what I what I really like. For sure, you know, especially in the summertime. Yeah, cause yeah, that's even when you a parent, you got kids. Sometimes you gotta get away from the motherfucking kids. Like I ain't got no kids, but I teach <laughs> kindergarten, so yeah. I'm trying to get away from them kids at school. <laughs> oh no, for sure. Oh, you, how you how you how you like that shit though? Like being a, a teacher, you know. Uh -huh, I've been teaching for a long time, so yeah. I. I I love it. You mm -hmm. know, it has its ups and downs, you know, with any career, but uh, mm -hmm. auntie burnt out, honey. Yeah, because <laughs> my, my wife a pre-K teacher, and we talk a lot about, like, it'll be more so uh, the kids giving problems to be a parent. Yeah, it ain't the kids. Yeah, like, you have you have a lot of issues with at, at home that carry over to school. Like, if it's a co-parent, they ain't really getting along and shit, and you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that shit can come to, you know, to the school, and they bring those problems to the teachers and shit. So, yeah, man, that shit. Hey, I salute to all y'all motherfucking teachers because these kids bad as fuck. And, hey, I don't know how y'all do it, dog. So, salute to y'all. Love. Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> That's the only yeah. way because it ain't the money. Oh, yeah, no, so it ain't the money. that right now. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, like I said, you being, you know, a teacher and stuff like that, what's your first adult decision that you made? You know what I'm saying? Gr Grown-up decision that you felt like, all right, I'm 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 legit out here. I ain't no little kid no more. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm really making mm -hmm. moves out here. Well, I bought my own car when I was like 15. Mm. I, uh, how the fuck that happen? I was on a bus like a motherfucker. But... Well, I've been working since like, well, uh, uh, first of all, I grew up in an amazing home with amazing parents. For sure, shout out to mom. You know, so yeah. I never really, I mean, as a kid, I didn't need, I didn't want or need for shit. So whatever mm. money I had, you know, on my own was mm. literally my own. For sure, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I, um, I started working very young, like I was 12 mm -hmm. and um, I was on Fox 2 News. I okay. was on this uh, for like student spotlight. I had like wrote some plays and stuff. So I've been writing since I was like really young. Mm-hmm. And I had did some plays and everything, and it was on the news. And this lady named Virginia Shelton, shout mm -hmm. out to Miss Shelton, mm -hmm. she called my school, found out what school I went to, and called my middle school and um, recruited me to work at this uh, theater camp okay. called United Generation Council Theater Troupe. Okay. Uh, when I was 12 years old, I went and did the audition. And I got it the first day, and mm -hmm. we got paid all summer. And I mm -hmm. worked there from age like 12 to like, 1918 when I was the director. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You say 15, you got your will. Yeah, because I had, I mean, she paid us well <laughs> every Damn. summer, so I just stacked yeah, that shit. Yeah. You know, cars wasn't shit back yeah, then. For like, sure. Hell yeah. I had got a Cavalier. I think I paid like maybe <laughs> at seven for yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was a kid. No, for like, sure. You know, yeah, yeah. I think I paid maybe like. Seven fifty, eight hundred dollars sure. from my uncle. Like, we you all know? got you a nice little car. Yeah. Done. Fifteen shit. We was on that good earning pimp that bus. Uh -huh, like, uh -huh, baby, y'all always had that whip, honey. Yeah, I no. could not do so it. So shit, was it? You haven't whipped that early? Like, nigga had to approach you correct then. Like, he can't catch the bus to the crib, huh? Because I would catch the bus to the motherfucking house. Like, oh yeah, you want to go? No, nah, I was a kid. I didn't care about hey, that. You know, I no. just had a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was picking my friends up and shit. Yeah. Like, Copper, my little high school girlfriend had a little car before I did. I'm like, all right, shit, come pick me up then. Yeah, Be I was here. just the one with the car. Yeah, that's funny as hell, though. Yeah, I was on that, definitely on that bus. Shout out to the motherfucking Jefferson bus, the Grassy yeah, bus. I done took the bus before. Like, shit, when my car got fucked up and I had to get to work, I got my ass right up on no, that bus. For sure. I hell, didn't yeah. give not one fuck. No, for sure. <laughs> with, with, with doing everything that you do, what's been the worst advice and the best advice you received so far? Ooh. The worst that can be that can be in life that can be with your line of Man, work like whatever. The best advice I can give you um, in this industry is to stay 
professional. Okay. And you could take that. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. way you want to take that on sets, on like just in personal relationships with people, like knowing directors and stuff like that. Just keep it professional, cause mm-hmm. like whenever you try to like make it personal, it it always it never goes well for the actor or the actress. For sure. But the you know the filmmaker or the you know producer or whatever like the company owner just like in you know when you dealing with like bosses and secretaries that whole situation the mm-hmm. secretary is the one you know who gonna yeah. get the backlash or lose For their sure. job yeah, the person who, yeah, yeah. who own the company is gonna be straight so just always you know just be professional so that you don't have to worry about that okay for sure uh, that's the best advice you What's know that, that worst advice say? you receive that you like what the fuck this shit do not work <laughs> um the worst advice <laughs> Um, that I will receive is probably the counter to that. Okay. Like, it's to make friends and not, you know, it's to keep it personal. That's yeah. like the worst. Because I've had someone tell me that, like, well, unless you, you know, be friends or, be, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. you you know, that's not good advice at all. Yeah, for it's sure. Backfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Especially if you try to make it a little too yeah. personal. Like, hold on, because you got yeah, back that off. Yeah, like, going to backfire. Take like, that shit away yeah. from the workplace, for real, Keep for your real. business, your business. And that's what that's in any industry, not even just the entertainment industry. That's just in any industry. Just yeah. keep your business, your business, and your mm-hmm. personal, your personal. Now, I asked a lot of people this question. When the last time you cried, what was the reason why? Oh... But like you got a good cry and you just uh, the ugly cry too. Like <laughs> probably the last time I cried was probably like um a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um situation, a family situation. Okay. I won't go into it. Okay. Um but yeah, that was a real cry. Yeah, yeah. That was a real cry. Yeah. Yeah. That Man. wasn't no like oh I'm like a surface of shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, that was a, yeah, yeah, that was some real shit. That was yeah. some real family shit. And no. I had and I had to take that moment or I wouldn't have been good. Like I had to Mm-hmm. Really, just take that moment and get it out. Yeah, no, you got. Hey, you gotta get it out. You gotta let that shit go. Niggas be on like they too tough to cry. It be no, some. You need to cry. Niggas be That's emotionless. Like goddamn, nigga, oh, none hurt your feelings, bro. Like, and then one day it's gonna all hit at one time mm-hmm. because you you really it's not that it's not hurting your feelings. It's that you burying it. Yeah, for sure. That's just like when you in relationship with somebody. Like it's always it's good to talk about your problems because like I said, if you keep that shit in, once you finally do release, it's gonna be it's gonna be trouble. You and I me? will say that now that I'm older, I kind of just be like, I don't want to talk about it because I don't feel like dealing with that shit. But mm-hmm. I know that that's not the right answer. Either. No, not at all. Hell no. Hell no. You got because like I said, that shit ain't gonna do nothing but carry on. You ain't had three, four different things you've been pissed off yeah, at that nigga and about. Now you just going off yeah. on all of them. Like, damn, <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? Now, right. um. And yesterday you ain't bring me nothing. Either. Yeah, like, like damn, like, I, like my thing. Is, Why are we talking about yeah, it? Like we wasn't talking about it. Well, my relationships, I like to just be open. Like just you know, put it out there off off jump. Don't sit here and you know hold it in or because you gonna hurt my feelings. Or I'm hurt your feelings. Like let it yeah. be known what's going on. So then I could fix it or we could talk yeah. about it. You know what I'm saying? Cause you keep that shit in, hey, hey, that shit gonna. Then that's when niggas get to swinging and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for real, because mm-hmm, they got them bottled that bottle. Yeah, of, uh, and you, you looking at her like or him like damn nigga like what. I, I didn't know, <laughs> like, I didn't know it was a big it? deal. Yeah. Now, if I want to be introduced, you want to introduce yourself to the world. And I want to know who you are. Okay. But you're going to use an album or a song mm. to let me know who you are. What, okay. What you going to use? I'm going to have to use my song, Boss. Okay. Okay. What what, what they're talking about? Like, how how's that really, you know, breaking you down? Um, It just shows, like, um that I'm just willing to... Like, go the extra mile for the people that I love in my life. Mm-hmm. I work hard. Mm-hmm. And I'm that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Y'all and I got that. a pretty voice. So you can hear it on a song. So that, that tell you a lot a lot about me. For sure. Yeah, we definitely going to tap into the uh, into the project that you released. That was uh, last year. But uh, before we get into that, like, you know what I'm saying? You touched on coming from a loving home. Mm-hmm. Just talk about growing up. You know what I'm saying? What part of town you from and who's in the crib with you? Okay, well, yeah, I um, I grew up in Southfield. Okay, okay. Um, my mom and dad was married my whole life. My dad uh, still together right now. My dad passed away in 2014. Okay, okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, my dad passed away in 2014. Love, love. Um, I had a great parents. Like I, you know, I lived a good life. Like I grew up with a lot of love. Like. Mm-hmm. We owned our house. Like mm-hmm. I went to private school. I went to night nice schools. Like mm-hmm. I went to performing arts schools in Southfield. Mm-hmm. After that, you know, so mm-hmm. I my life ain't start getting crazy till I start making it crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> now you, you know, you coming from, you know, what I'm saying, you know, you went to a great school. You know, what I'm saying a two bit uh, parent house. Uh, you know, what I'm saying just you know, living a good life. Mm-hmm. Did you ever feel like you had a point to prove? 
you know, maybe, maybe people thought, oh, yeah, she thinks she's too good. You know how that shit can be like niggas from the city or yeah. niggas who come from, you know what I'm saying, absolutely. just a mom. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it's not my fault. My parents, like, <laughs> you love me. Yeah. yeah, like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, you know, sorry that you didn't have that. And that's why I don't have kids because I feel like. If I don't have a partner or if I don't have a person like kids, like, I'm not saying I'm not knocking nobody because mm. let me say that. Yeah, right, I'm right. not knocking nobody because I don't want the, you know, the baby mama club to <laughs> jump <laughs> on me. Yeah, they, like, they, they you strong. know, yes, but I'm not <laughs> on that. Like, because yeah. I know some very, you know, um, great moms. Shout out to uh, my girl, Mac. But, okay. like, I'm not knocking, you know, single mothers or single fathers, but. Mm. Kids need a two parent home. That's why mm. a lot of shit is fucked up now. Mm. They need a two parent home. Whatever that looks like for you, you need two people to do that shit. For That's sure. why it's two people because you need them, both yeah. of them. Not for sure. For sure. <laughs> you need help. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And that's a lot of people's problem. They don't want to say that they need help. Like, you want to be I ended. Like, that's fine. Like, yeah, I live alone. I pay all my own bills, but I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I no, do it because sure. I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want some fucking help. <laughs> like, shit. A two parent, a two parent home is definitely important. Important, you know, to a kid growing up and stuff yeah. like that. It's it is some situations that you know, say mom or dad can. You, you know what need saying? the mom and the dad mm -hmm. for whether it's a a, a girl, you know, child sure. or a boy child. Yeah. You need the mom and the dad. You need yeah. the mom to show them that motherly love, to show them what a woman's supposed to look like, whether that's for them to model or for that's to date. Mm -hmm. And you need that man. You need that strong, like, male figure to for show sure. you how a woman is supposed to be treated and show you how you're supposed to treat a woman. No, fast, fast. Because I, I came from a single-parent household. Like I said, my mom and uh, dad split up, and then my dad, he passed away. So at the time, I had her. And I, I ain't going to lie, I got to credit, like, the dudes in my life as far as, like, my uncles, my yeah. brothers and stuff. They took that role of being that male, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, in my life that showed me, like, hey, dog, this how you do this is how you do that and it don't matter whether it's your dad you know or like a stepdad mm -hmm. or you know your uncle as long as you know you have that you know male and that female energy For in sure. your life that male and female you know mm -hmm. Um, partner, mm -hmm. that's that's what you need. Yeah, for you know, sure. so that you can thrive. Like you need both of those energies so that you can thri thrive. Thrive. Mm -hmm. You need a partner. You need that help. You do. You do. You do. Cause like I said, my oldest and it may son, not be always romantic. Like I think sometimes, like we get caught up in that. Like oh, it has to be like husband and wife. You mm -hmm. know, or it has to be you know girlfriend and boyfriend. Like maybe your partner is your best friend mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like maybe that maybe that's who you trust with everything maybe mm -hmm. maybe that's who you trust with your life and with your money and you know what i'm saying everything like that so sure. partnerships sometimes look different but just growing up in that it made me really value that yeah. it value having high value people in my life no for sure because <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's my oldest son my oldest son, me and his mom, you know, high school, you know, saying boyfriend, girlfriend, we wound up, you know, saying breaking up, but she wound up getting to a, a relationship, got married. I got into a relationship, got married. So he's seeing, he's still seeing a two parent household exactly. from both sides. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Now he got a village. Yeah. You know for what sure. I'm saying? Now, now he really looking out because now he yeah. got more people in his life nah, that love for him. Sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's important. And though, that's like, all that matters. Like, that's all that matters is that you're modeling, like, healthy relationships like it's okay to break up it's yeah. okay to move on like i'm not saying like my parents is just the end all be all just because they stay married like mm. i've i know plenty of people who you know they broke yeah, up or divorced other, and they still or, co parent or they still yeah, or or they they hate each up. other yeah, they, yeah they or married, it's like and the marriage is fucked up like i'm she... definitely not saluting that shit don't For ever sure. stay in nothing <laughs> yeah that's not happy or healthy yep. or making you grow because you think you're doing that shit for the kids and no. you ain't fucking the kids up because he see, everyone's miserable yeah the, the, him or her they see how fucked up the relationship is now they think that's how they're supposed to treat exactly. people or they think that's what they're supposed to accept in a relationship hell no yeah like man mom be can't happy stand that. And, and living good and thriving. Yeah, and we we me and my we we both know we know people who just like and why the fuck is they in the relationship? Like, like let that shit go. And cause they like where they live at, they don't want to move out. Yeah, you gotta let that shit go. Move the fuck home, be free and shit, duh. For real, for real. Now you um you 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 coming from a two parent household at the high school? Like, what was what was life like for you? Was you college? Was you? you yeah, I went to college. Um. I did. I went to school. Um, I majored in something totally different than I ended up. That's how it always uh, be. <laughs> like, that's how it always happened. Yeah, I did start out, you know, on the theater track and with communications, but then I'm like, this shit ain't gonna make me no money. Like, sure. I need a real, you know, <laughs> yeah. profession. And I kind of fucked around in school and was just, you know, yeah, doing a lot of, yeah, yeah, just partying. For sure. A lot of bullshit. Yeah. And then um, I ended up 
kind of just walking into um, like a school one day, like shit, I need a job. I got, you know, experience with kids from theater groups and, you know, summer camps, shit like that. Mm -hmm. What I got to do. And then she just kind of put me up on game. Like these are certifications you need. This is like the base, you know, shit that you could take to get like this pay. And then you can go through this year program, whatever, you know, just kind of yeah. show me the steps. And I was like, fuck it. You know, yeah. it seemed easy. Like I'm good with kids. Like why not, For sure. you know, get certified so I can actually get the real pay. So I, you know, worked there for a while, and I went to school and did mm -hmm. that shit. And now, shit, I'm back in school yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for more <laughs> that, to that, get that, more money. <laughs> that, that's similar to my wife's situation. She kind of like walked into it, with, with, you know, where her brother, you know, saying was in pre K at the same at the time, and she was just helping okay. and became like a, a helper, you know, aid to like, all right, bet, go ahead, get a job for it. So she's been doing that shit for this is her 11 year. So she been doing shit yeah, for a little I've minute. Been doing yeah, it for yeah. 10 years. Oh y'all, here y'all some vets. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, vets with the kids <laughs> and shit, dog. Hell yeah. Now um, you 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 we we talked about how you act there, you do music. When did that shit become a part of your life? Like you wanted that shit, like mm, I was real young. But like but, I was really young. When like, did it become something you wanted to like? I want to make money off this shit and thrive. Like when I was about twelve. Okay, and that's with both. And I, yeah, I got that job and I realized like, oh shit, like <laughs> I can really make money off of this, like. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Like this is what's really going on. I told you I bought my first car off theater money. Yeah, like <laughs> doing it big. Yeah, like I didn't like my first job wasn't you know I didn't have work at like uh, and then I work I worked my aunt too. She had a monogram and an embroidery business. So shout out to my auntie, rest in peace. Okay. She had a monogram and embroidery business. So that's where I kind of got into just personalizing so many things that I wear because mm -hmm. you know she was just you know. In the shop, making yeah, them, yeah, like, you yeah, know, yeah. making everybody's shit, mm -hmm. like, customizing everybody's shit, yeah. so. Now, movies, you and then uh, a couple of them, uh, King, mm -hmm. Kings of Queens, that's when my, um. Queen of Kings, yeah. Queen, Queen, Queen of Kings, my producer was in, here in the strip yeah. strip club and shit on that motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> uh, Paper Heart. Yeah. He was on a few episodes, two episodes of uh, Super Size Salon. Yeah. And uh, Damaged Goods. Yeah. Like you said, you and wrote your, uh. Quick Money. Yeah, for sure. You red and, Flash. You write your own shit. Yeah, Red Flash. Y'all the Red Flash uh, shit, dog. City Guy Forgot About. Yo, hold on. That shit coming out. I'm in it. <laughs> I'm in it. I got. I'm a coach in that motherfucker, dog. I got. I'm coach number one in that motherfucker, dog. Shout out to uh, shout out to my dog SJ. He put uh, a, a, SJ AJ the twins. They had uh, asked me if I wanted to be in a little role when they was uh, in the gym and shit. So yeah, yeah I was. I, I was in there. A little, little, little cameo. Yeah, so yeah, we all got something in common. We all actors, actresses. <laughs> but uh, no. So you know, you you doing all these movies. How do you prepare for a movie? Like, how you know if the role is for you or not? When they offer it to me, I was just taking that shit. Nah, nah, but like uh, when they offering it to me, and I, I just kind of like read over it and you know see if it's something that you know I mm -hmm. want to do and feel comfortable with, you sure. know, um, or you know if I like uh, you know have a rapport with whoever's doing a project or whatever, you know, like it's somebody who I you know trust or who I work with, I'd be like you know okay, I mm -hmm. you know hop in and do it, and then it's just like. I want to continuously have like different roles. Like, yeah. I don't want to be stuck Tight in like yeah, just one thing. Like I want to be a well rounded. For sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, um, is there a role you, that you wouldn't you, you would refuse to take that you wouldn't take? Or you haven't? No, even got I've to been that. a crackhead before. <laughs> How, I was. I was a crackhead in a uh, baby face right video. <laughs> How you prefer prefer to be a crackhead? Like just look like a crackhead. <laughs> so when you seen that shit, like like so you in babyface right uh video right? Uh huh. So you think like oh I'm about to get sexy and shit, but then you look at no. like no nope, crackhead. No, nope, they told me like uh <laughs> what it what the role was like. Uh, all, of course, all the girls want to be sexy, like but when they found out what it was, they had to get butt ass naked. So. Yeah. Is either be butt ass naked or, or be, be a crackhead? crackhead. <laughs> what, what video is this? I'll go back and look at this shit. Uh damn, what we, we video there, like, is this shit, dog? Uh, <laughs> shit, you about to make me go look. It's on my hey, page. Like you on that boy? Yeah, let me get that script. What you want me to do? Oh, yeah, you about to motherfucker hit that pipe? Like <laughs> that's crazy. And Fiend, I usually nigga. always know the names of <laughs> shit. Crackhead, I want nigga. Fuck that. I'm gonna be a crackhead when you movies, dog. It. I mean, and it's, it's crazy because even though I was a crackhead, I ended up looking cute. So it defeated the whole purpose. <laughs> yeah, fine. A nice guy. Nice guy. Yeah, it defeated right. the whole purpose of me even being a crackhead because oh, yeah. I looked cute. Yeah. So I was just like, I just like, uh, what's that? Damn, what's that fucking Ty Perry um show? Uh, House of Pain. 
Oh, girl, was the finest crackhead I've seen in my saying. life. That's what I'm saying. It was no point in me being a crackhead because all you see is like curls, my little bang in the front, yeah. and like curly ass ponytail. It uh, just looked like my shirt is ripped. That's yeah. it. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, that's a crackhead right there. Like, damn, she look, she look good. Like, fuck it. Crackhead. Like, you look well to be uh, on crack. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. So, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, yeah, you say you, you make sure you want to be, hey, I can play crackhead, I can play fine, I can play, do this. Yeah, like, I don't, I, I'm a, I'm an entertainer. For sure. Like, I'm not every role. I'm not here to be, you know, the fine girl. Like, and, I, and I'm not even, like, the normal, you know what I'm saying? Like, that type of, but that's a whole other thing anyway. Mm. The point is that, like, you're here to be an entertainer. So, you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. That's your whole job, being mm. uncomfortable. For sure. Being something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting on a different hat, like, or tapping into, you know, a way to bring something to life. You For know sure. what I'm saying? So, I'm not a crackhead. I don't <laughs> smoke crack. You know what I'm saying? Like... So it's not affecting me, you know what I'm saying, to portray, but I've seen hella crackheads. Oh, no, for sure. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I and I know some crackheads, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or, you know, people who do drugs and act like fucking crackheads. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So I know what a crackhead is. Yeah. So that's not something that's hard to, you know, tap into and portray. That doesn't mean that I have to smoke crack to be mm-hmm. a crackhead. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, listen, she took this role too serious. Yeah. She, she out here buying crack. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just an <laughs> entertainer, and I'm here to portray. I'm here to portray whatever sure. I need to portray at that moment, and yeah. I need. I don't need casting directors to look into my file and say, "Oh, she won't do this. She won't do this. She won't mm-hmm. do this." What if? What if the role of my lifetime is a crackhead? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if? What if I'm gonna get an Emmy, nom- sure. an Emmy award? Fucking uh, Zendaya got an oh, Academy yeah. Award for being Euphoria. a crackhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit hard. Ain't she not a crackhead in that shit? Like, she, Euphoria? Yeah, is yeah. she not a crackhead? And she fucked up in that. A drug one. addict. Yeah, she fucked up. Ain't that what a crackhead is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why you keep laughing every time I say crackhead? <laughs> 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 no, yeah, she, she fucked up, dog. I'm playing though. No, but I'm saying, like for real, like the one of the most monumental roles of her career is yeah, her being a drug yeah, addict. For you know sure. what I'm saying? So what if shit. she was like, oh, I'm I'm oh, I came off the Disney Channel. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm in I'm Spider Man's like girlfriend. Like for I don't sure. have to fucking, you know, do drugs to be in the movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this is the the role of a lifetime for you, her. Yep, you got it. Even the other film that she did with uh Denzel Washington's son, mm-hmm. she was a recovering addict. Mm-hmm. You know, so what if she's going to say, oh, I, I don't want to portray any type of woman or I never did drugs, so now, uh, I don't want to portray. I'm sure she's been around yeah. it. Now, flip side, you got a lot of guys that, you know, they were they refused to do a gay a gay role. Gay yeah, thing. and I don't get that. Uh, because my thing is, <laughs> like, there there was a period in time where I where I didn't date men. I only dated women, but I'm not going to turn down a, a role because mm-hmm. the character is straight. I That's think as a stupid. dude, they just don't want to be seen as that. They don't. And want, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But I like, do understand that. Think about the, the the guy from um fucking Power. Every scene he and that mother, he get down with a dude like and. This at, is how I feel about. Just I can understand if a nigga be like, I ain't trying to get down. You got to like do what you feel comfortable with. For sure, facts. You know what I'm saying? Even though your job is to feel uncomfortable, it's still a level to that yeah. shit. So, like, am I about to take a role where I just got to be just completely new, like, the whole movie or mm-hmm. just hope? No, nah, that's not. I'm not going to do that because, one, like, I'm still working on my body. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. that's not something I'm completely, you know, comfortable with at this point. And, two, that's just not where I'm going with my career. For you sure. know, but who am I to look down, you know what I'm saying, oh, no, or no, judge somebody else know. because that's, how that's he, what they yeah. feel comfortable with. So, yeah. I just feel like it's all in a... It's, it's your world, you mm-hmm. know, not, well, it's yeah. not really your world, but you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you you have the opportunity to no, kind of sure. say, okay, I'm going to do this or I'm not going to yeah. do this. I understand, actor. you know, you got to do what you got to do. That. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do sometimes, but hey, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. <laughs> hey, I couldn't do it. You know, I know like, a lot of people, they say, they feel like that. Breathing all that nigga chest hard, like, <laughs> fuck that, I can't do it, dog. I can't do it. Salute to the ones who can, you a good actor. Like, <laughs> I just couldn't do it, for real, for real. Somebody asked me on here, um, was I met the actor? Um, I won't say all the time. I'll say sometimes, and then I'll say I'm actually working on coining my own phrase, which is kind of a uh, method writing. So mm. that's kind of like how I write, though. Like I am a method writer, and mm. what I do is like I live, I get in relationships, I date, and I write about shit. Okay, for sure. And like I might create different characters, or like you know, take from you know other relationships in my life that I see mm. play out, you know, and, and put that into it. But that's how you make life re- that's how you make no, no, you know no, no. film and stuff like that real like i don't want to see something that you don't know about mm. i want to see something that you studied that you understand that you know what it feels like no you know? for sure yeah yeah now the tubi hate because you didn't do a lot of movies that been on tubi <laughs> do, do you get uh do you take it personal when like because you've been, uh, been i did, at first. Like, I did at first but where i'm at in my life is that 
in, in five years from now, none of that shit is gonna matter because I'm gonna be one of the biggest filmmakers in the world. So mm. none of that shit is is even gonna matter. Like the, at the rate and the pace that I'm going and, and the way that things are mapped out in my life and the opportunities that I have right now, that shit not even gonna matter. Yeah. So like before, hell yeah, that shit used to bother me. Like and I used to be like, bitch, I'm not just on two. <laughs> I'm on WeTV too, ho. Yeah, yeah. Like if you want, if you really, what's up? Like if you really want to see about it, but I, I can't be like that. And I have to really understand that it just really coming from a place that people probably like, damn, I want to do that shit, mm-hmm. you know? Or they like, damn, how she get on there? Yeah, or I, I thought she stopped doing this, or yeah. you know, whatever, or whatever, whatever it is, mm-hmm. you know. And I have to understand that other people's problems are not my fucking problem for sure for sure fast now we now um uh, yeah now, with the 2B movies and stuff like that mm-hmm. and, and 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 niggas hating on it and shit like that like you know what I'm saying how hard is it to get a movie on Tubi? Is it easy? Like, you just shoot a movie, bam, it's on that bitch. Like, Absolutely. Because some of that shit do look like it'd be like, nigga just, he must have been cousin with the nigga from Tubi or something. Cause I mean, no, that's that true. That shit should have been on That's there. true in different cities and stuff, I will say that. But here, you know, we have companies like Homestead Entertainment mm-hmm. um, that's uh, with Dennis Reed. And you have Moolah Films. And um, you have a, a new app that I'm actually going to be um, a part of um, that my series is actually going to okay. be streaming on. Yeah. Um, you got, uh, let me see, who else? Uh. Some someone else that I know that I want to shout out. They have an app. Um, they have an app too. It's it's a few different um people in Detroit that have apps that you can di- get distribution through, and they have you know Instagrams, and you yeah. just go through the Instagrams, and you you know speak to them and set up a meeting, and they tell you you know all your deliverables okay. and the things that you have to have. Yeah you know, um, format-wise in order to get your movie mm. distributed. So it's not like you just going to pop up today and be like, you know, unless you want to put that bitch on YouTube. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, like, yeah. now you can do that. Yeah, no, for sure. Throw and I, I, and I'm not I'm not saying don't do that because I got some movies that's on YouTube too and mm. I don't got no problem with that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But if you're trying to go the Tubi route, the Amazon Prime route, you know, there mm. is, you know, steps that you need to take. Yeah. And I will shout out to, I would slide through, you know, to Moolah Films or Homestead Entertainment, mm. and they'd help you, you yeah. know, get your now film. Now, being a, 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 um, an actor or actress from the city, mm-hmm. do you ever like look like they just stuck in Detroit? They don't look past Detroit? Because sometimes being a person looking, it's like, damn, is they going to ever, like, do they have dreams of being like, all right, Hollywood, Atlanta? Or, I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I do, and yeah. I've been there. Do you think like, people get stuck? I like, shot Super Size in Line in Vegas. Like, mm. um, I've, you know, done some, some other things and I try to audition in other, mm. you know, states and, yeah. you know, do movies, um, in other states and mm. things like that. Um, I'm working on a project that's going to come, um, with some people out of Texas Yeah. and, you know, different things like that. So I feel like sometimes we do get yeah. stuck in that, but that's why I'm not allowing my team to do that For shit. Sure, like, yeah, cause it's we big on names. some whole other shit. Like even some of our locations are going to be out of state yeah. just for the simple fact that I want to network with people there and yeah, get, sure. you know, actors and, you know, shit. Because I know people from all around the world. So, yeah. when you watch my series, that's what it's going to reflect. Like, yeah, you're going to see, mm-hmm. you know, some people from Detroit. But you you also might see some people, you know, from reality shows. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm tapping into all my contacts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I mean, people maybe here. I need you to slide on the scene right quick, okay? Yeah, there <laughs> be people, people here from the city. That's, that's some dope. There's some dope actors and actresses <laughs> here. But it'd be sometimes I seem like, damn, I want to do it. want something outside just playing in a Detroit movie. They you know? may or they may or may not, but and that's why it's gonna be more of a market for me because I'm not just only focused on Detroit. Like, yeah, I already got love in my city. I've been here my whole life. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. And I and I always will value you know the opinion of my city because my family and my friends and all that is here. Mm-hmm. But I'm ready for the world. Like the not world sure. gotta see this shit. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't think about you know what I'm saying about that. They think about just all right. Let me go ahead and just continue your character. But Tubi is not only seen in Detroit. Though. I know it's that's a lot a, of shit. That's a, a thing yeah. that I think people have like a bit a big misconception about. Cause I've gotten a lot of you know I won't say fans because I'm not no fucking celebrity. Like I'm a hood bitch, but mm-hmm. I say like <laughs> I got supporters. You know what I'm saying? That like hit me up from different states, like in Texas or Alabama, mm-hmm. Atlanta. That you know watch the movies. So like, you know, it's some of it is getting that reach to other sure. states, and that's really yeah. what I'm trying to focus on with my series, like and putting it on these different apps to mm-hmm. get that you know universal appeal. Yeah. Now speaking of your series, uh, like you mentioned it, his or hers, yeah, series that, that you wrote that's coming out soon. Yes, yes. Um, I'm how, so fucking excited. How about different this is show. it? writing a tv series compared to a movie oh my god a tv series is hard yeah. it's so much harder because you got to think about continuity throughout the whole thing you got to think about um new characters popping up mm. or uh 
old characters going and maybe somebody can't come to the rest of these episodes mm, yeah. you know so now you got to try to figure out how to kill them or For write sure. them out <laughs> yeah, 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 you know yeah. what i'm saying like yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's yeah. a lot of moving parts you know that come and it's like making a mini movie in each episode because it has to have a beginning a yeah, middle, middle and an end, end. Yeah. but it has to carry into the shit so next, that's happening yeah. in the next episode but i'll say my first like i've written hella plays like hella okay. plays but my first screenplay was going dutch a tv mm. series so okay. i didn't start uh with a movie, movie i started yeah, yeah, yeah. with an eight episode tv series mm -hmm. which was actually a cartoon it was adult an adult animation cartoon like family guy mm -hmm. or like the cleveland show but yeah, it, you yeah, know yeah. it was like that but okay. with strippers okay okay <laughs> when it's still gonna come out uh, yeah. uh definitely still gonna come out but um it was formatted you know into a live show so you know a lot of things were changed a lot like i've learned so much about writing and growing that's why right now i'm on go because i'm like i got this information like i i yeah. can write anything i Let's feel like it. now yeah. i got the bbw movie i'm working on with best hand entertainment so that shit is about to be bananas i oh, think yeah. i wrote the bbw movie with a first draft i wrote the bbw movie and i want to say like four days okay okay yeah you quick on it yeah because but it, it took me like six months to write going dutch okay all right you know what i'm saying but that's because that was my first project and i really was like a student like i really was like taking Still my learning time shit. and learning i was living mm. learning things you know about myself and in life because i'm the lead you know in that project so mm. i knew i had a lot of growth to do before i even got even close to ready to shoot it or anything like that now without giving too much away i don't know how much you want to give to us mm. but what is this uh series about his or hers his or Hers um, is a series about, um, it's, it's starring me and it's starring Gino DeFerro. So shout out to Gino DeFerro. And mm. his music is amazing. So check that out too. Mm. But, um, and he's playing an a, a artist um, in the TV series. And I am a director. Okay. And we meet on a set. Um, and there's just from that day, like just hella crazy shit happening. Like, um, shit happening with his relationships because you know we, we just met you know mm -hmm. we don't know each other so he's all you know already involved in a in a situation um that he has going on um i'm really just here to direct the video but i got my own like family okay. shit going on so um i, I don't want to like you know tell yeah, the plot sure. yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. but like it's, it's a lot of action it's gonna be you know it's uh, uh scam bay shout out to scam bay mm -hmm. so that's that's a big thing like you're gonna have scam bay director bay tech bay like i'm gonna hit you with the girls like you're gonna get the the baddies the models yeah, like it's sure. gonna be full of beautiful women like got a couple um uh surprises it's gonna be some like uh all original soundtrack curated by myself and gino and um probably some songs from kins and some of the other artists that i work with um is this gonna be something like you have never seen before like you know mm. it's gonna be like a james bond movie <laughs> mm. You know, mixed with like a sitcom. Okay, now are you still looking for uh for uh for cast uh you know for this for this series? Or um, are you, are you yeah, done? I I kind of um have it um pretty much cast, but I'm always looking for background um actors. My casting group is always um having new castings and films, and I have not cast the BBW movie yet, so I'm okay. still looking for you know cast for the BBW film. For sure, for sure. Now being you you spoke on you know getting one of your artists into the uh you know saying on the soundtrack mm -hmm. and being a manager can it be tough like i know it's demanding but can it be tough you know being a manager and and trying to get these people to you know blow up or whatever hell yeah like, how, how, you know, <laughs> how you know who is the right person to work with i don't you never do yeah so, you just uh you have a feeling and it's it's whether y'all mesh or not and it when i see some of the same qualities in myself i look for that in my artist so i've managed myself my entire life mm -hmm. i maybe had one manager that tried to get over on me and that's when i was just like i could do this shit myself mm -hmm. and so like people look at my career and i say okay you know you did this shit on your own so like you know you can you can help me you can give me some advice so that's just what i look for do you have that drive are you gonna get it are you about this shit every day because i mm -hmm. am yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, Definitely. I'm on my break typing in, writing, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> the kids are taking a nap. I'm editing scripts. I'm yeah, sending shit sure. out. Like, I'm talking to photographers. Like, I'm taking meetings on my, like, headphones all day. Like, I'm about this shit all day. Mm -hmm. So, like, what you want? Yeah, for you sure. You know, because, like, I can't help you if you laying in bed all day and then you get up and yeah, be like, yeah. okay, I want to pop up and do a show. Like, mm -hmm. no, where to work at? Yeah. Are you, do you got your paperwork right so we can get paid? Like, are you getting streams? Like, because I'm at the point where I can create opportunities just mm -hmm. by me writing this series i can give everybody a job mm -hmm. i can give everybody streaming 
rights. I can give every, you know what I'm saying? Everybody plays. I can give everybody shit to add to their resume. So it's like, I'm providing you mm -hmm. with what you need. You know what I'm saying? As an entertainer, because it's like, sometimes we got to create our own opportunities. Not like, for sure. I, I, I'm getting parts, but I haven't gotten a lead yet. Mm-hmm. So I broke one. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah <laughs> got my shit. Got my shit. You know, saying the way I wanted to. Yeah, my, I know. wrote it. You know, so I just feel like as artists, we be lazy sometimes. Mm -hmm. So what I do admire about Kins, what I do admire about Mac is that they not lazy at all. Like they they on their shit every day. Like they calling me like, okay, so what you tell me I need to do? Like mm -hmm. what I gotta do, or why you ain't calling me today? Like can we have a meeting? Like cause I need X Y Z. Like they on their shit every really? day. So I really you know respect that about them and as I can, artists. Can artists expect too much from a manager? Cause Absolutely. I know a lot of times they feel like just cause I got a manager, okay, you supposed Absolutely. to do everything. And I tell they ass that shit. I be like, hey. Mm -hmm. Chill. Yeah. We got like I got thirty things I'm doing. I already worked for you today, and so that's that's nothing that goes into time management for me. Mm -hmm. So right now, because we're in such a base level of this management, like you know, we we not at the you know Glorilla you know levels mm -hmm. or you know as far as I mean you know like press and things like that. Like we not at the Cardi B levels and shit. So you know like right now, what I try to do is I take I say okay. I have three artists, right? So I take two hours in the morning out of my day and two hours in the evening out of my day for each artist. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do for them. Okay. Now past that, now you went to my personal yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, now you're doing You know what artists. I'm saying? Like, yeah. And now I got to tell you, like, hey, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Like, I already did yeah. two or three things on your list for the day. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all the time that I can donate or devote to you. So yeah. that comes in now with your time management. So what can you do? That that doesn't have to require your manager. Sure. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Like, what can you do to set me up for tomorrow? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or to set me up for the next day that you want, you know, yeah. done. Now, you hear a lot of stories about, you know, people come in together, manager, artist. They come into the game together, but then when money come into the play, that's when shit get to falling apart. Mm -hmm. They get to breaking up and shit. Like, what would you do to make sure that don't happen? Like, how oh, can I don't I give a fuck. You don't give <laughs> So you don't give a fuck. They just like, hey, I got this deal. I'm gone. Fuck no, you. No, I don't give a fuck. And I and I say that because we be too attached Blood to hell, people. Like, fuck yeah, I don't give a fuck because I I'm sure I've done it to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, but not purposely, but just because everybody is not tied to your destiny or your journey. Mm -hmm. And sometimes as an artist, if you feel like, okay, you took me as far as you could take me, and now I need somebody to take me to the next level, who am I as an artist to be mad at that? Mm -hmm. Now, am I still gonna get my paper because we got paperwork? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I still going to get paid? Hell yeah. yeah. But do I really give a fuck at the end of the Hell day? Hell no. No. Because <laughs> life going to go on and no, we be sure. too attached to people. Like that's that's something that I've mastered in my life. And when I mastered that, I excelled. Mm -hmm. I was too attached to things, situations, and people. Mm -hmm. I learned that life is ever evolving, ever moving, ever growing. And it's fast. So holding on to something that's fleeting is like dangling in the fucking sky like you're trying to catch some shit that's moving fast past you quick as hell like all of these artists are gonna excel all mm -hmm. these artists are gonna get big that's what i want yeah. i want them to get big as hell to the fact that they be like hey you know you you too busy now you know what i'm saying yeah. or you can't help me no more or you know i'm at this level to where i need to get a manager to help me do xyz i want them to blow up to that shit because i feel like the people who i pick they down and they're gonna give me my cut regardless mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying Hell yeah. so i feel like it's no point in getting upset like it's okay for people to move on and grow and to and to get into that next point mm -hmm. you know yeah, i feel like sure. that's good that means i did my job i feel like yeah you helped push you to yeah i don't want to be managing you for the rest of my life like yeah. i want to be on the beach somewhere when i'm 45 chilling. <laughs> like, i don't be managing nobody like i just want to be checking my phone yeah. all these people is texting me about managing you for sure for you sure, for sure. <laughs> now on the artist side you know you 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 like i said you drop projects yourself you're artist yourself mm -hmm. you dropped a uh, lipstick and uh, lace the love tape yes uh last year yeah uh what was your response yeah what was your response from that and did you feel like you you know saying it got the love that it deserved i feel like it got some love i feel like it, it's in some projects so i'm happy with that like um some songs off of it um are in a dirty d um, some songs are in the movie Rotten. Mm -hmm. Um, I got bosses in uh Diamond Girls or Diamond Girls the series. Mm -hmm. So I got some placements off of it, which was the whole point. For sure. Fast, 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 fast. So uh as a virtually like unknown artist, you know, like um to at least get thousands of plays to mm -hmm. me is a lot of 
grow. Should more artists try to do that though? Like with absolutely, the way, and the that's the movies, main thing I tell my artists. Like yeah, the way these movies is pushing in yeah, Detroit. Like that's another reason why played. I'm like, okay, we got the series, so all of y'all got to get shit on the soundtrack, so that when it get plays, who's to say it's not gonna blow up? Because it mm. is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. I got faith in it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you want to get your music in there so that you can get those plays and those spins because that's how my music gets out. That's how I get paid for it. Because mm -hmm. it been some artists. I'm like, yeah, who the fuck is that on this? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I had searched and like, oh, exactly. shit, they got a whole lot of you know, exactly. work out there. I had no views on my song. Mm -hmm. I put it in a couple movies or they, you know, came to me and asked me to put it in a couple projects, thankfully. Mm -hmm. And now it's thousands of spins. Like, and I had none. <laughs> no, for sure. Hell yeah. Now you out here going crazy. Because like I said, I, I think I was watching Best Man, uh, that series, and I found out about this artist named Elaine. I'm like, damn, she hard. Like, just mm -hmm. off of hearing that little, small little sample made me want to go ahead and do some more research and, and that's shit. exactly what his or hers and Going Dutch is going to do. Like, you're going to hear some amazing music from some new artists that's going to make you be like, what the fuck? Like, for sure. I got to tap in with this shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, we got this thing called Talk About the Bars or Talk About Line or whatever, you know, okay. that song and, you know, we whatever, whatever. Now, on, on song Boss, you say, I'm overqualified, but I'll be your assistant. So okay. when I was thinking about that line, I was thinking about like you know that you up here, mm -hmm. but for that for that love, you are yeah. gonna go ahead, you gonna you gonna help them out. Yeah, so that's, that's how exactly it is. what that means. Like, um, we like as women, a lot of times, like we are extremely intelligent, and that's not always like the hat that we gotta be in or the mm -hmm. bag that we gotta be in, you know. And it's it's I won't say it's dumb and down, but sometimes you just gotta learn. You got to learn what situation to be what in. No, for sure, for sure, You know, for sure. and I feel like maybe you don't need uh, this bossy version of me right now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Maybe you need me to be your cheerleader. For sure, your, no, fast. You know, your assistant, your support system to help you with something, and it's okay. Like, that's a part of being a boss, to know when to play your position exactly. and to know yeah. what that position is. Yeah, that's like a lot of times in relationships. Like, sometimes you got to know when to be a leader. Sometimes, hey, exactly. all right, I'm going to fall back exactly. on this one. Exactly. And coming from the whole team aspect, when you, you know what I'm saying, playing sports or when the cast, you gotta know when to when to lead, when to fall back, when to help. Exactly. But some motherfuckers don't be knowing that shit. Exactly. Everybody <laughs> ain't Michael Jordan, nigga. You want <laughs> Stacey Allman, nigga. Like fall, fall back, fall back. Now, uh, on also on the song, boss, you say I know what we had was real. When do you know when the situation is real? When do you know this is a real relationship? Like this is this is some true love shit. Mm. Hmm. That's a good question. Mm hmm. I feel like it's not, like, just one way to know that. Sure. I feel like, for me, it's several things. Like, um, do we get along? Mm -hmm. Which is probably the biggest thing. Like, how is our communication? Like, are you yelling at me? Like, are you, you know what I'm saying? Like, talking to me, like, are you listening to me? Am I listening to you? Like, am I interested in what you're saying? Are you interested in what I'm saying? Like, but on a deeper level, like, I feel like, when it's love, like you don't always, ha you don't even have to tell that person. Mm -hmm. Like they just know, mm -hmm. yeah, they know sure. what you need. Oh, they I'm, know all right, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad know, you said that. Cause you know. on the show earlier, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I was on his show earlier. You said what you need, this, that, and third. What you want to hear? Now we was talking about how like when you're in a relationship with somebody, it's always good to compliment your lady on something before the next nigga will. Like like say you got your nails done, like. Don't wait for that another nigga to go ahead and say something when I could, you know, saying compliment you on something or something that you might have changed up. A lot of times that guys, we think, yeah, or we get settled. Well, we get settled. We like, she know I love her. She know how I feel about her or whatever. But then that other nigga. But is, I don't. It's saying so the things. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's different today. Maybe mm -hmm. it's different this week. People change their mind every day. So I'm a, I'm the type. I'm like that. Like, I'm not saying you got to just be on my dick. But, <laughs> yeah, you sure. know, like, I, I feel <laughs> like even as women, we just need reassurance. Like, anybody needs reassurance. Mm -hmm. Like. The ties change so much these days and people be so up and down and want to leave and ready to hop on the next best thing. Like, shit, I don't know. if you, Do you still fuck with me today? Like, yeah, maybe, you, sure. maybe you want to fuck with your other bitch. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. tell me what's up. Like, yeah, because yeah, my man was like, hey, you know I love you. You know you look good because, nigga, I'm with you. But sometimes that's cool and all, and that's true. But, but are you with me? Yeah, or she are you hear with that me shit. and this bitch and this bitch too? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, because you could be with me and then be with them too. Like, mm -hmm. You be with everybody. You can be with whoever you want to be yeah. with. He, like I said, he put me on game a long time ago. If you see something different with your with your lady, let her know. Like, I see that shit with your hair. So you did a little different, little swoop with that motherfucker or something. Because then, like I said, Craig over there, he he knows everything, and, mm -hmm. and he, he he saying shit, and you just at the crib scratching your ass, and that bitch ain't saying a word about nothing she ain't done new. Don't even and know she what around that shit. this bitch cleaning, cooking, yep, taking care of the kids and all yeah, that yeah. shit. 
Now, oh, close off. You had said, lay back on this bed, baby. I'm about to break you off. Like, <laughs> that's self explanatory. <laughs> like, no, but, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, you know what you about to do. But, like, what women like do, you be like, all right, like, do y'all be, y'all be knowing, like, yeah, nigga, I'm about to go crazy. You don't even know what the fuck I'm about to do. Yeah, if, if, if we on that. Yeah. You know, if we locked in like that, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a vibe all the time. For sure. Now, now do music I be playing, would it be weird if your music was being played while y'all was getting down? It has been and it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> do you, like, I'm just not on my own like shit like that. Like, yeah, I like my music and stuff like that, but we don't got to do that. Like, you do not have to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't, and I don't know why people be doing that shit. Like, <laughs> I don't understand that. For sure. Like, I mean, it's cool. Like, I, I get that you fuck with me, you know. Maybe, maybe it's more, I, and I, and I understand that sometimes, like, maybe it's more for them than it is for me. And mm. I have to realize that, like, maybe they feel like this, like, some Beyonce shit. For sure. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but oh, shit, nah. I've been told that before. So I just, like, I'm, I'm very, like, big on, like, letting a person, like, have whatever their fantasy is. So who am I to fuck that shit up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you mm. want to feel like you fucking an R&B bitch? You know, I'm not going to fuck it up for you. Yeah. Like, I'm going a, I'm to a give you what you want. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> if we yeah. locked in like that, you know. What's up? Now, uh, come to me, baby. You say, uh, I can't wait another minute. Can't wait another second. Have a nigga, even though you you can't wait, you want this shit. Have anybody ever talked themselves out of some motherfucking ass? Yeah. Like, you can't wait for it, but damn, this nigga ain't said too much, or she ain't said too much, now she ain't even going down. Yeah. Like, like, like how, how, how is that? Like, what can a nigga do to you talk to yourself out some shit? Or if I'm telling you, like, I'm on my way, or I'm coming, like, I'm or I'm just doing something, like, it, it would really, it usually be, like, when I'm on a flight. Mm. Like, if I'm about to get on a flight back here, or, like, I'm coming from out of town, don't irritate me the whole way there. And then by the time I get there, I don't even want to do it no more. <laughs> yeah, talk that now shit Now I want to go to sleep. Yeah. Or I done slept the whole way, so I didn't answer my phone. Or, like, the service was fucked up. And then I get here and you cussing me out and, like, saying yeah, all you, you ready to break shit. them off. Yeah, now I don't even want to see you no more. <laughs> you ready to break them off. Now I think, oh, what the fuck yeah. was that? I ain't called you. Like, my shit was dead. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and get in the bedroom. Bitch, I'm in the mountains in Colorado. Ain't no service. Like, yeah. what you want me to do? Now, uh, when do you plan on dropping another project? Because, like you said, this came out Valentine's Day last year. Um, I probably won't be dropping any of, like, my own projects for a while. The when You'll hear my voice on TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's that's uh where the majority of my projects are going to be. Like, I, I got a couple more placements that's coming out um, and some more films. And I'm getting ready to work on the soundtracks for... Well, I've been actually been working on music for those mm. soundtracks. That's why I haven't been putting it out. Because I don't want it to come out until, mm. you know, it comes out um, on a project. So, the, probably the next time you hear my voice would be on the theme song for uh, His and Hers, whatever mm. me and Gino decide to do. For sure, for sure. <laughs> we get in the studio. What, what was the first time somebody recognized you from a movie? Like, was you, like, hype as hell? Like, damn. Hell yeah, I was hurt. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this shit lit. Yeah, yeah. What movie was it? Paper Heart. Okay, okay, okay. Paper Heart was my first uh real film, like mm -hmm. first big film. Like I did some um like smaller like uh projects, um, but Paper Heart was my first like feature film like on a streaming like app. Like, they, they knew that was you, like that. Oh, ain't you with such and such? Nigga got hype, like hell yeah. I, I can't wait lit. till niggas know me. And from then the one time this girl <laughs> knew me in the after hour. Like okay. I went to the after hour, and this bitch was like, she just kept looking at me, and I'm like, what's up? Like, yeah. my, you know. And then she came back and she was like, I seen you on WeTV. She was like, you was on that show with the plus size girls. I'm like, super size one. She like, it's you. I'm like, yeah, girl. It's me, girl. I take a picture of So I was with a fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. Now, now this one time, I do gotta tell y'all, this is a funny story. Now, this one time, people thought I was somebody and I wasn't. You played that shit. And I played that shit. I took pictures with everybody. I ain't give a fuck. So, look, shout out to my homegirl, Roly. That's my bitch. We've been friends. Uh, Roly from Baddies, uh, from Zeus. We've been friends for, like, years, like, 10 years. And I've been told this bitch she was going to be a star. I knew it. And they used to hate on her so bad. And I used to be like, fuck that shit, bitch. You about to be a star. Watch. Like, then she auditioned for Chance, and that shit was history. Like, mm -hmm. but uh, she came to the city, mm -hmm. and she had did an appearance. So, we went out and shit. <laughs> We at the club. Everybody like all these little gay boys and all these people coming up to me like, I seen you from Baddies. You was my favorite Baddie. This one boy was crying. <laughs> I, th I thought 
that he was talking to Rolly because I'm like, okay, you know, I know she yeah. bring him out like this, you know. My bitch is popular, you know what I'm saying? No. So I'm like, I'm thinking they talk her, she over there somewhere, like taking pictures with somebody else. He like, no, you, you was my favorite, Betty. Oh my God, like I love you so much. <laughs> like crying and everything. Like, can you please take a picture with me, please? Da, 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 da. Whole time. I'm not on Betty's, baby. I've yeah. never even been on yeah. that show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> I never even been on that show, but I could not break his heart like that. He was crying and everything. He was Man. like, Can you please take a picture of me? I'm like, uh huh. Is anybody at you with me right now that make you cry? Make you go crazy like, 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 like my man. Who, who's the one person? <laughs> if you see him, you gonna go ballistic. You gonna go fucking crazy. Lose your shit. Mm. Lose your motherfucking mind. Zendaya. Zendaya. I'm a faint. <laughs> on the flow. Hell, the the. Yeah, I'm just following the flow. Yeah, uh, I can't never pitch myself just going that crazy. Meet somebody. She probably the only person, and I wouldn't go crazy. I probably would faint though. I probably yeah. would pass out. <laughs> that that would be how Damn, dramatic I would handle that. Fell like, down, head bleeding. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I would just pass out. Bust her shit over. But, like, I would just be excited. Like, I just got What's an excited up, personality. So, I wouldn't be, like, you know, crying and yeah, sure. like yeah, yeah. The only people who I probably would have been about like that is dead. Like, Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson, absolutely. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Michael, absolutely. Michael Jackson I had probably wouldn't have been able to breathe. Yeah. Michael, <laughs> Michael Jackson had niggas going to the hospital. <laughs> That nigga like, had niggas going, flipping out. That nigga had motherfucker going hospital, that passing nigga's out. That nigga's the king of pop. Michael Jackson had parents, couples crying together like this. My parents wouldn't even let me listen to, like, uh, R and B or like hip hop music or none of that. It was just only gospel music in my house. But when I was six years old, my mama bought me that gold box set mm -hmm. of Michael Jackson, and I was never the same. Man. I'm gonna walk all across that house <laughs> in footy pajamas. Wait, wait, recipe to Michael Jackson. Damn. That's what she was like. Oh yeah, you going to ballet tomorrow? <laughs> no, for sure. Hell no. Like I done had enough of this shit. <laughs> would you Would you ever um consider or you might be doing it being a writer for a, a artist? Was that Would you play a back yeah, role? Yeah, um, I've actually written some songs for some artists i can't tell you who it's for though for sure. no we already know, you know? Yeah, it, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah i've written for artists i'm open to anything that pay me money but for sure you about your you about your dollars if you want to pay you want some songs baby i'll write you a grammy yeah. <laughs> award winning for hits, sure okay what's some shit that you hate that you have to deal with when it comes to this entertainment life mm, people trying to fuck me all the time <laughs> yeah, and that's sure. all I'm gonna say about that. Yeah, Next yeah, question. Yeah. yeah, we already know how that shit is. Okay. Niggas like this work. <laughs> you want to work? Yeah. All right, let's fuck. Like damn. Like I know it gotta be hard for women though. Like we ain't gotta talk about, it, but it gotta be hard for women like in the entertainment business when it comes to music or yeah, whatever that's it all is. I'm gonna say about yeah, that. that's all I'm saying. Hey man, y'all gotta do better, cuz <laughs> do better. Now, what's some young nigga shit versus some shit you've been through? That's like, what's some shit that you believed in as a young 18-year-old mm. that you look back on like, what the fuck was I even thinking that about? That I knew everything and I ain't no shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ain't no shit. I didn't know nothing. But no, for sure. But I know a lot of shit now, though. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think we all at that age shit, nada. think we, gonna, we know everything. I think we doing the right thing and ain't every, every, every doing a whole bunch of stupid shit. And then, but when you get older, it's funny. Like when you get older, you look back on everything that your mom and dad yeah. might cussed your ass out about. Right, all of it was right. And you understand that shit. All of it was right, and I was an idiot. Mm hmm. Like but, I, but I'm not gonna be an idiot no more. For sure. Hell yeah. That's one thing about me. It don't take me but one time to learn the lesson, mm -hmm. and I'm out. I'm like, okay, I got this. Like I got what to do. But one thing I will say that I value about like the artists that I work with, they're young as shit, mm -hmm. but they they know like, okay, I need a mentor or I need somebody to tell me this or I value you know advice or I value. That's one thing I can say about them. Like they they ready to learn. Like they mm -hmm. want to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, how to be better and yeah, how to, and as opposed to a lot of other, like, young people that, you know, like, that's out now. They think, they think way more than I think. Like, even though I, I thought I knew shit, I still was willing to learn. No, for sure. You know for what sure. I'm saying? But these young motherfuckers. But see, even when you get older, you still got to be willing to learn some shit. They yeah. think they know. Like, they think you can't tell them shit. No, like, for sure. They got no. an iPhone and that's it. They yeah. think that's it. That's all they need in the world. Now, making a band. You, you old enough, you know about making a band. Absolutely. Give me your making a band um, movie cast. You and five other people that you would love to have in your movie. Okay. Um, Die Line, because that nigga was TV gold. Uh, uh, so I know any part I put that nigga in, he like. So hold on, all actors, you want to pick Die Line? 
are we saying that's gonna make my movie sale, yeah. or are we saying that people that I would like to work with, like, like that you would like to work with, that's gonna be in you your cast? Making a band, right? No, this we we copy and making a band. You know, making. Oh, a band. I thought you said from making <laughs> no, a band. No, no, like, no, no, no. The, you gotta be more. No, specific. this is your you making said a band. Making a band. Like I thought you meant yeah. like, from the cast of no, making a band. Okay, no, so you're making in the a world band or in Detroit. In the world. Oh, shit. you're okay. making a band movie cast. So you and five other people. Okay, I want that girl. Uh, what's that girl name? From that was just in the um, she was just in that um Prime series uh by Donald Glover. Damn. The beyond it was not be it's not about oh, Beyonce but oh Storm. yeah 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 oh girl her. Oh, I want her. yeah I forgot her name oh, I want her real I know you talking about though I want her real bad not like that yeah. I mean like for my series like. Her. Damn, I forgot her name. Yeah, but I know you're talking about, though. Yeah, y'all know who I'm talking about. If All my right. phone wasn't dead, I would look it up. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah. I her. want her, Zendaya. That's two. That's my villain. Um. Denzel Washington. All right, can't go, can't, can't go around with class Denzel. That's three. She thinking y'all. <laughs> Denzel Washington's a day of old girl from Swarm. You got two more people to make this motherfucking cast work. Will Ferrell. Oh yeah, he funny as hell. Hell yeah, got how he about to be playing another movie too. He about to play Madden. He about to be playing John Madden and shit. And last but not least, under the songbird. Um, Genius. Oh, a voice. I need a voice, like a, a actor singer. You gotta, you always gotta have somebody with a voice. No, so sure. random shit be happening. They just be like, oh, I'm just yeah. singing shit. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> shit, um, you got, you got my boy Jennifer Hudson. This motherfucker, absolutely not. Shit, I love she, Jennifer Hudson. I love Jennifer Hudson. I love her. I do. You say absolutely not. not. Like goddamn. But you said the top five in the whole world, yeah. and I'm gonna put Jennifer Hudson in it. Shit, hey. You want some singing and shit, some acting. She ain't played some good roles. She was, was, was yeah, she has. She, she actually with, has. She, she actually have. Jennifer, no, 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 I don't sleep on Jennifer because yeah. Spotlight was my had me in a chokehold my whole sure. high school career. Like yeah. in Dreamgirls, you yes. can't say Beyonce because Beyonce ain't really good a good actress at all. She sing, but she can't act. No, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't even thinking about Beyonce. Yeah. Um, I was really thinking because I wanted to make a good choice. Uh. Hey, shit, shit on my choice. Janet Jackson from the nineties. <laughs> All right, okay, cool. I can, I can rock with or that. Or Jada Pinkett Smith from the nineties. My honorable mention. All right, I'm tripping. Nia Long. I'm, I knew I, I couldn't yeah. go. I was going through my Rolodex, but I couldn't yeah, but find you never who go I was looking Long. for. Hell, you yeah, so that's wrong. my five. Love. Zendaya, um, Shorty from Swarm. Okay. Denzel Washington. Will, Will Ferrell and Nia Long. Okay. Okay, that's a nice little cast, a little something different, a little some I can see some shit. Yeah, it's gonna be a romantic comedy thriller. For sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's now you doing so much? What's something that you wanna start new? Anything new that you wanna do? Nothing. <laughs> you got a lot of motherfucking shit going on, dog. Say no, nah, this uh podcast that I'm about to be starting, it's gonna be lit. Now what now talk about it. What's gonna be about, you know what I'm saying? Can't talk about it. You can't talk about it? Everybody gonna see your idea. If no, it is, not like that. Okay, okay. Y'all ain't oh. about to. Y'all is not about to get me hemmed up on shit. Okay, okay, okay. So you, <laughs> uh, all right, let me ask you this. Uh, but I will say, um, is it gonna be m multiple people on this podcast? Or yeah, just, I'm okay. gonna be having guests. Um, and I will say that um, it's actually going to be somehow um in association with um Burn Hooper. Okay. Um, so for sure, for sure. Shout. We'll be on the lookout. It's gonna come out this year, right? Yeah. Because a lot of niggas be coming out here talking about, I'm going to start podcasting. Yeah, no. Be too happy. <laughs> you don't never see nothing about this shit later on. Like, damn, what happened to that motherfucking podcast? But uh, anything that you would change as far as your start? Anything you would have done differently as far as your start with if it comes to music? Just entertainment Music, in yeah, movies, no. Okay. What would you do um, different music? As far as uh, music, I, I had a deal when I was younger and I, I blew it. Okay, how did it happen? I blew the money. Oh, you blew money. Yeah, I, blew oh, I thought you blew a deal. You nah, fucked yourself I blew out the, the money, and other people blew my deal. Like mm. because we were so young, like people were sleeping with this person and sleeping with that person, and yeah, do it. once that kind of <laughs> start happened, like it kind of fucked up, like the way that shit was. So I kind of started doing my own thing, and mm. I just um I didn't I didn't believe in myself enough. 
I'm gonna be honest. Like I didn't, I didn't take it serious enough. Like mm. I was good and I worked hard, but I wasn't diligent. Like mm. I, I would do like one or two things and then you know leave it alone. Or I would do a show, put a song out, put a mixtape out, it would get a buzz, and I would just drop off yeah. the face of the earth. And you know, every time you do that, you gotta rebuild, be, re, start yeah, over. Yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I just, I didn't, I didn't take it serious because even though music was like one of my first loves, like I've been singing since I was like three, like. Mm in choirs i can sing classical music i can sing other languages i can read music mm -hmm. i've been singing for a very long time um so like it, i got burnt out on it a lot because i sang so much like i sang at my middle school graduation my high school graduation i'm like a nationally ranked singer mm -hmm. so like it just music was just a lot like yeah. and it cost a lot of money like and it oh, no, just for sure. yeah it was i didn't really know the right people to work with so mm -hmm. it was just costing me money like niggas was trying to fuck me didn't want to give me my songs like so it just it was just a lot like and just when i did movies it was just like mm -hmm. boom straight to the point like this is what it is you show up yep. you learn your shit you pop your shit and that's what it is and then i learned that i could take another route had i known that i could get my music and fucking movies and TV shows. Yeah, you would've been on that Man, shit. Man, I would've been doing that shit like yeah, yeah. 10 years ago. For sure, for sure. What's your advice to somebody who, you know what I'm saying, new to the game? They wanna get into this shit. What's your advice, you um, know what I'm saying? Be what? professional, mm -hmm. be punctual. That's something I'm still working on because I be late and it's not good. Mm -hmm. uh, be professional, <laughs> <laughs> for real. I'm still, you got accountability. No, for sure. Accountability is a big thing too. Accountability. Mm -hmm. um, professionalism, functionalism, being accountable. Know your shit. Like whatever you're supposed to be doing, be prepared. Don't show up and you don't know this and don't know. Be fucking prepared. Like have your clothes, whatever you're supposed to have ask questions too it's mm -hmm. okay to ask questions like i would rather that you ask questions and you know have the answer to whatever you're looking for than not to ask questions and then you don't have what's something that you need for sure you know Hell yeah. so just being prepared punctual asking questions being polite to people like stop being a bitch on set like be polite to people and stop talking shit about people yeah yeah that's hard for people to do <laughs> <laughs> that's how people do because you never know like i mean if you want to do that with your friends that's different you know Cause like because we all have our girl sessions whatever download whatever but like when you want to say keep mm -hmm. that shit professional for sure now i do this thing called versus i give you two things two people two whatever you tell me who'll win okay summertime gear versus fall gear fall hell yeah get your little fall bag in yeah all right soul food versus seafood seafood Okay. Now you you eat uh dressing like you know dressing stuff mm -hmm. dressing. Okay, dressing. Cranberry sauce versus gravy. Mm, who making it? Shit, whoever make grandma. What 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 you rather have on your dressing? Cranberry sauce. I like or... it both ways. For real? Yeah. At the same time or just like No, nah, not at the it. same time. I don't fuck with the gravy. I just give me cranberry. Like cranberry if sauce. the gravy is the shit, like sometimes I eat it with the gravy, but no, not together. It got to be either or like I'm eating it with gravy or I'm eating it with cranberry. Probably cranberry more so though. For sure, yeah, yeah. cranberry sauce is shit. Uh, macaron. You want that stiff layer, that stiff shit, or that creamy shit that just falls? And so you want fucking that bitch hitting your motherfucker. Is the cheese stretching? Yeah. Okay, I want that. Okay. <laughs> I don't want no wet cheese. I want no, my cheese sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. stretching. No, I don't want that do. creamy sauce. Yeah, yeah, creamy shit. Yeah, yeah. You need to put some fucking mozzarella and some all different types of cheeses in that bitch, and it needs to be some eggs in there. Or don't give me that fucking macaron. No, yeah, keep that shit at the crib. Hell yeah. Chicken wings or chicken breast? Fried. Like which one? Wings. Wings, hell yeah. But I see my my grandma, my mother like making. I like good real ass. chicken breast though. That's why I was just like how they cook, but you said fries. So. Okay, okay. I uh tacos versus burgers. Tacos. Uh veggie pizza versus all meat. Veggie. Chris Brown versus R. Kelly. I mean Chris uh Chris Brown versus Usher in the versus battle. Absolutely not. I'm not answering that. You get you ain't you ain't got no choice? No. Why? Because they both the shit at what they do. Shit. That's Chris good. Brown can backflip, but so can Usher, and Usher he forty. Usher, Usher destroyed that. So nigga, my though. whole thing is like, yeah, he might, but I don't know though. That's what I'm saying. Chris Brown is not one of them. Like that's the whole not, thing. But... Chris Brown is not one of them. Uh, now, if you would have said Usher and Omarion or something, oh hell, like that, no, that's I'd not no comparison. Like, Usher and Omarion, you gotta compare Omarion to like a fucking Trey Songz or something, like yeah. Mario, I ain't getting no motherfucking uh, the the pleasure even being mentioned with motherfucking. I don't know. Usher. I might I might go with Usher just because he be doing that roller skating shit and singing. Yeah. All right, Martin versus Fresh Prince. Damn. 
Damn. Uh, I I watch Fresh Prince more, mm-hmm. but Martin is Martin, man. Mm, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Wayne Brothers versus Jamie Foxx show. Jamie Foxx. Damn, you said that too quick. That was Duh. too quick. No, no, that was too quick. That was, Jamie Foxx is the shit, but Wayne Brothers is the shit, That shit though. ain't even, you know, hell no. Oh, man, y'all, you got to get out. <laughs> Wayne's show is good, but it ain't no compared to Jamie Foxx. I think used to be singing whole fucking songs no, with the sure. piano on that bitch. And Fancy? <laughs> no, fancy? Was fancy? Her you know how many songs alone her name is in rap bars? Oh, yeah. Fancy? Fancy, Come I, on, I, I used to, little nigga, she, her nipples always out on that show. Fancy was the <laughs> shit. Like, Fancy made it, like, cool to be a fine-ass brown-skinned yeah, girl. Like. Hell. They was not really casting brown skin girls like that in Lee Rose. Like Fancy made that shit cool to be a badass bitch with a job and brown skin. Like <laughs> Fancy sure. made that shit cool. Boys in the Hood versus Menace. Mm. Damn. I don't know. Menace Society had a crazy impact on the film world. So mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna say that just because, but they're both iconic and amazing films. Daylife versus nightlife. Night. Nightlife. Uh, if you had to choose, music versus acting. Acting. Okay, okay, okay. I should. Because I, I can know. sing while I. Act. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, for sure, you for know? sure. But music is music. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be on the mute like acting, like you know. Yeah, yeah. All right, now we gonna end it off. Drunk moment or high moment? Give me a funny story where you were drunk, high, or both. So. No cocaine. No, absolutely. Not. <laughs> I I am not a crackhead. <laughs> Um, and I've never done coke. I don't like stuff with my nose. Funny story, unrelated. When I was a kid, I stuck a tag up my nose. Never put nothing else up my nose besides the nose. Right? Yeah, I'm good on that shit. Had to go to emergency, everything. Get yeah. So I'm good on the nose shit. Um, let me see. One time I was, it was during COVID. Mm-hmm. I was so high, right? I smoked weed and ate edibles. I was asleep for a long time. Oh, you fucked up. Yeah, you did both. Left the weed out on the table, right? At this time, my dog was kind of tall. Mm-hmm. I come out the room. My, I thought my dog had broke her leg. <laughs> and my friend was like, look at the dog. Like, what's wrong with your dog? I had a poodle at the time. She's like, what's wrong with your dog? She kept, like, falling over. Like, her leg was broken. So I'm like, oh, my. And I'm still high at this point because I had, it was COVID. I didn't, have, I didn't do nothing. Like, mm-hmm. I was at home eating edibles. I had ate, like, so many milligrams of THC. I thought I, Loki, was, like, still having sleep dreaming. I don't know. I was yeah. high as dog shit. Yeah. As high as she was. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because then I put two and two together that her ass, her leg was not broke. Yeah. She sure. ate damn near ate the fucking weed. Dog. Cause the whole plastic bag was empty and none of it was on the floor. Both of y'all niggas high. Her eyes was red as the devil's dick. Do you Dog. hear me? Both of y'all niggas high as fuck. You think she fucked I up? I thought I was. I thought she I was fucked going up, to jail. Right. I just knew I was going to jail. I said, "This is animal cruelty. I'm gonna have to call somebody." He like, "No, she gonna be." I'm like, "No." I, I was gonna take call for the dog to recover. It took like at least twenty four hours. Damn. She wouldn't drink out her bowl. She wouldn't move. Every time she walked, she walked like her like she was high as shit. Damn, both of y'all fucked and up. And I thought her leg was broke, but it wasn't broke. She just couldn't stand up because she was so high. When I looked into <laughs> her little eyes, they was redder. They was this red. I'm not <laughs> capping to you. I'm talking Bad. about eyes was red. As the devil's dick, okay. That shit funny as hell. God damn, you have the elbows that do your. She didn't even a... make a noise. Like she wouldn't bark or nothing for yeah, like a whole day. Up. I had to keep checking to see if she was like alive. Like yeah, them elbows that do. She you wouldn't dirty. eat or nothing. Like I had to keep like trying to pour like a little bottle of water in her mouth to make her drink water. <laughs> I was so scared. I felt so God damn, both y'all motherfuckers high as dog. And shit. it still ain't blow my high. That's how high I was. Still ain't blow my high. Hell no, that elbow shit. That's a different from high. <laughs> you are gonna be down until that, that shit's shit. done. That's <laughs> why I don't fuck with that shit. Hell yeah, no, I appreciate you coming on this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Good conversations. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait to watch the new series and shit. All the good things you got going on. But uh, you want to leave people with some you know, good words? Yes. I'm Lux. You can follow me on Instagram. Lux the BBW Mermaid. They come at night. It's coming out. Ladies night is coming out. His or hers. Uh, Street Legal should be coming out soon. Um, tap in to my casting group. I'm always looking for males and females for projects. Make sure y'all stream the YNJ Ski Mask video. Stream Louis Ray names and run my shit up so we can get paid. <laughs> oh yeah, no, but real quick, that, uh, real quick before we leave off, you mentioned being BBW. Is it hard? Is it hard getting respect or getting work as a BBW? Yeah. Like, do you do you feel like you got to do way more than what you know? What I'm saying, I guess what they call the um, average size woman. I won't say that, but that's just where it comes in with your network and just knowing people and just. 
making sure that you are professional and making sure that you do stay relevant and stay visible. And mm-hmm. that's that's with anything. Like, I won't say it's harder because I know all, you know, uh, aspiring artists struggle, you mm-hmm. know, with their own struggles with getting casted and getting on and getting seen. But I will say that, you know, they do, you know, we just got to be honest and, you know, go towards the, you know, more of a certain look. And I don't fit that normal, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, mode. But, you know, we still working. For sure, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one thing you're doing for sure, working your ass off, man. You got a whole bunch of projects, a whole bunch of shit going on, so salute to you. So shout out to the, the cast, all of the cast and directors that do work with me and all the directors that do cast me. Like, I'm so grateful and so thankful, and thank you for the opportunity. I just want to say that. For sure, hell yeah. Salute to y'all, salute to y'all. Well, shit, man. Shout out to everybody. Y'all already know Voice of Detroit. Best podcast in the city, man, hands down. Ain't no competition. Episode 162. Lux in the building. Yeah, yeah. We out this motherfucker, man. Peace.